Now, for every good gun in the game that makes you feel like a boss, there's also an ugly gun lurking in the shadows right behind them. MK16, you're one of those guns. What is good, all my gamers out there? It's that x and Beast, that A and Beast here. Today, you guys are watching some Warfighter TDM. Now, I'm using the Demolition class with the MK16, this monstrosity of a weapon right here. And I think this gun holds the title for worst demolition weapon. Now, if you missed my previous Warfighter video, I talked about what I thought was the best demolition gun. And a lot of you guys seem to agree with me. I did pick the AA-12 being the best demolition gun. A lot of you guys agree. Some of you guys thought that the AKS-74U was a lot better. Then, no matter what your choice was, we can agree that the AA-12 and AKS-74U are are the better weapons in the demolition class but for every good weapon he has he has shitty ones that's right behind it and the mk16 is definitely one of those weapons guys in fact i think it is the worst in my opinion now the mk16 can be great in the right hands no like that beast op himself he can kick ass with his gun but for the most part you have way better choices in a demolition class like, you should not find yourself using this weapon at any circumstance, guys. But anyways, to go to why I think this weapon is bad. For one, this weapon is not that strong, to be honest with you guys. Now, I'm not going to say it's the weakest thing I ever used, but it's not exactly strong. Even at close quarters, it's just not that good. Now, it does have some alright kill times. So a few bullets would drop people, but it just doesn't kill people as fast as an AK s 74 you're going to hell even the aa-12 so this weapon damage is not too great now on top of the damage you have that crazy upwards recoil now i'm not going to say that the recoil for this weapon is too absurd but it does have recoil like a lot of upward recoil it's to the point guys where i find myself burst firing each time i use this weapon like you see a lot of uh, the time where i'm shooting people in here i'm burst firing because i'm too afraid to fully auto this weapon guys because if i fully auto this weapon or if i, I should say if you guys fully auto this weapon you have a, a big chance of missing your opponents and you will probably end up dying losing a lot of your gunfight so you find yourself burst firing a lot with this gun which i don't like because it is close quarters oriented and you feel like with a close quarters gun you should be able to fully annihilate a whole lot more but no you have to burst fire this weapon now with that being said you can win fights by fully autoing but for the most part you're better off burst firing now, like I said, this weapon is close quarters wep uh, close quarters oriented, I should say. So, with that in mind, this weapon has little to no range at all. Now, you do see, I do get in some mid-range engagements. And you can kill people with this gun at mid-range. But for the most part, guys, you're better off close quarters. You do not want to use this weapon at medium to long range with weak damage in that recoil. You do not want to do it, guys. Stay away. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you agree with me or you just enjoyed the video, do leave a thumbs up. It always does help. And if you're a new viewer, guys, do subscribe for some more Metal Honor Warfighter. And, of course, some AMD dopeness. I will be talking to you guys later. Peace.